Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have for you today episode 4.5 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Episode 4.5 is entitled Prince and Power of the Air. Here's the text. This quality of Satan is described in Ephesians 2, King James Version, Public Domain. Here are verses 1 and 2. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Here's my commentary. I get this very thoroughly. Satan's power is of the air. He can talk, possibly with assistance from his minions, in many voices, all at once or sequentially. He can imbue these voices with the soul-wounding qualities of our friends and so trick us into thinking we are talking in our minds with our friends when in fact we are not. He can threaten us, but he cannot follow through except by latching on to the soul-wounding of other people or by temporarily possessing animals since they don't have a quality of higher mind. He can also possess people by sending satanic essence into them and inspiring them with fear. Fear is not our true nature and so he can distance us from our truth in this way, but only temporarily. Satan is a lot of hot air. For more on that, you can see some of the other episodes on Prince and Power of the Air and Prince of Devils. I have a few pictures for you. The first is Mephistopheles flying over Wittenberg by Eugene Delacroix, 1828, in Wikimedia Commons. It looks to me to be a spoof, a popular spoof, and you'll excuse the lack of proper garb. This is a picture of a demon servant of Satan. You can see it flying through the air, looking kind of silly. The usual wings and a dark aspect. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too. Thank you for everything you do. You're welcome. You're Thank terrific. You. Just terrific. Here's the comment for you. Mephistopheles is a demon servant of Satan, popularized in German folklore. You can see his wings and his devil-may-care attitude in this image. My own feeling is that the biblical designation of Satan as prince and power of the air may have to do with his use of mental suggestion to persuade humans to do evil rather than good. The popular conception that Satan's minions also have that power is inferred by this image of Mephistopheles flying. It is true that angels are also often depicted as flying. I take this to mean that their influence on our human minds can counter that of Satan and his minions. In addition, I infer from both demons and angels flying that they are non-physical beings as physical forms are constrained by the laws of gravity. I have one other image for you. It features Satan himself 
flying in the air. The title of the image is Satan Afflicting Job. It's from the Nuremberg Chronicle, 1 January 1493, in the English Wikipedia, and it looks like this. Here is Job on the left, and on the right in midair is Satan with horns and claws and ragged wings and a tail and a strange expression on his face. So you may know that Job was afflicted with many difficult things in this lifetime and I guess this picture means that it's Satan that's causing this affliction. Here's the comment. This image of Satan causing Job to fall upon hard times and to become ill implies to me that Satan and his demonic minions have the power of mental suggestion or mesmerism or hypnosis through which they can influence the mental bodies of human beings in such a way that their bodies of light become darkened and tarnished. This darkening or tarnishing I take to be the cause of bad luck, such as that which Job, God's faithful servant, endured at the hands of Satan. My own idea, which I fruitfully employ in my own life, is that Satan's bad luck suggestions can be overcome by purifying my body of light and strengthening my electromagnetic field through right diet, plenty of rest, physical exercise, yoga and meditation practiced as often as possible, and by keeping to good companions and not viewing violent or prurient shows on television or in the movies. As well, I find it best for me personally to keep to a quiet environment insofar as possible so that I can maintain a meditative state much of the day. Further, as a Christian, I take great comfort in wearing a cross, in going to Christian services, and in reading and doing my best to live up to the teachings of the Bible. There is nothing quite like the Bible for warding off Satan and his minions, I feel. Well, dear ones, that's the conclusion of episode 4.5 of Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.5 was titled Prince and Power of the Air. And in conclusion, I have this prayer for all of you. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.